Yo, no, don't point that shit at me. Put that shit down. Your lip gloss is popping. Oh shit, you lit. You gotta get a Snapchat, y'all. This is why people need to receive instructions before they ever even touch a firearm. Now, common sense would tell you to never point a gun at somebody. Now, I don't think she meant to do that. I think that she was just, you know, excited and wasn't really thinking. But I'm just saying, though, this is why somebody needs to be there like, look, <laughs> have you been given the basic instructions course? You might say, wait a second, you mean a basic instructions course before ever even touching or being around? A firearm yes there should be general knowledge that's given to people things like don't point it at anybody point it you know towards the ground let me see you never know when a gun is loaded it could always be loaded they should be taught <laughs> about the whole Brandon Lee thing Bruce Lee's son and how he ended up getting killed on a movie set by what was if I'm not mistaken it was supposed to be a prop gun but it was a real gun or it was supposed to be blinks, but it ended up being real bullets, whatever, whatever it was that happened. But basically, he ended up getting murdered, uh, rather killed, because murder is actually a legal term. He was accidentally killed, even, so, even though some people say that it was Illuminati intervention. But anyway, the point is this, though. Brandon Lee ended up dying on a movie set because somebody shot him with a gun, and they didn't think that he was going to get popped and die. But he got shot in real life, and they thought they were just shooting a movie scene. However, it ended up happening, whether somebody snuck one in there on the scene or I, I don't understand how that could happen I mean blank bullets real bullets I don't know I I just I I don't get it you know unless it was a setup but let me stop with the conspiracy stuff where I mess around them Chinese people come looking for me come kung fu kicking down my damn door so anyways let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine YouTube channels Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. All I know is I can't wait for your girl Sky to come back to Black Ink Crew Season 4, April 4th, 2016. Black Stink, the soap opera without the soap, will be back on my TV, Jesus. Yes. <sighs> Meat Magazine on YouTube, meatmagazine.blogspot.com, Meat Magazine on Twitter. And remember, kids, don't do drugs, don't drive drunk and don't point guns at people.